Hey guys, we've got a part two for our Mahalia Barnes. This guy, and the reason I'm even entertaining this is because this is a little level of idiocy and miseducation and miscommunication that is going around and this is how Nigerians feel about us. And to my American viewers, I apologize. So, Mama, no level. Let's agree on one thing. Your words really touched me. Is it bullshit? Go away. No, for real. I said, I don't care. You're a psychotic and this is just another hustle. Oh, I can't even do anything like this. Face palm. I said, bullshit. You can't even tell the truth. Nope. I said, yep. I said, I'm not going to be your Aussie mama. For real. You can teach me how to change. I said, not interested. I don't care about you enough to want to change you. Oh, I don't want to be LOL, he said, referring to me being his Aussie mama. And okay. I said, having anything to do with you costs money. It was nice talking to you, he said. I said, can't say the same. And I thought he'd go away, but no. So bad you feel this, all this way about Nigeria, he said, when I said having anything to do with you costs money. And I'm like from India. And then around can't say the same. Why? You know you just changed my mindset, he insists. And in response to so bad you all feel this way about Nigeria, I said, you make it look bad for everyone. Nah, I think it better you get a therapy job. You will do great in it. And sends me a WhatsApp number. Feel, feel free to spam if you guys have got uh, any VoIP numbers. You can text me on WhatsApp. Guess you already know our country code. I said, no thanks, but I will post it on an anti-scammer website for everyone else to spam you, which set him off. Laughing emojis. Oh, I guess you think I'm dumb to send my real phone number to you now that I don't have even trust you, he said. I can't even trust anyone again, sad emoji. Not even you or your boar, which I think is like, a, it's actually a flattering term. I said, oh, boo-hoo, scammer is upset. Like, I give a shit about you. I don't care about your, uh, you don't care about your victims. Why should I care about you? You're nothing. You're nobody. To which he says, I haven't scammed anyone for real. I said, biggest lie you've told. You asked me to be your money mule. Ipso facto, you're a scammer who needs one. Oh, Ipo, I really like you. I would love to get married to you if you want. I said, ugh, disgusting. Idiot, I'm married and I'd never marry a liar and a thief. And in response to biggest lie you've told, you asked me to be your money mule. He goes, because I'm expecting to scam somebody soon, but I won't again. I said, you think I wouldn't have a man? And in response to I'm expecting to scam someone, but I won't do it again. I said, yes, you will. He goes, because you already spoke to me. Because yes, 20 minutes of conversation was enough to change this young man's mind. And in response to you think I wouldn't have a man, he goes, many of you are divorced and widowed, LOL. I said, shaking my head, you're so full of shit. And many of us, who is us? Now listen to this, guys. I watched all the stories about women killing their husband on Ray William Johnson page on TikTok. So my scammer is getting his information on TikTok. And you American women, you're all killing your husbands. He goes... All the oibo. I'm assuming that's white woman. To which I said, what bullshit are you on about now? You're just an idiot. Especially from USA, he said. No, please don't call me an idiot, said my triggered scammer. And in response to especially from the USA, I said, did I sound American? Are you that young and stupid? And in response to no, please don't call me an idiot, I said, if the shoe fits. He goes, I know you're from Australia. I said, yippee, genius, shaking my head. But I'm just trying to let you know that most Americans' women kill their husbands once they get to know us online, apparently. <laughs> I said, that's absolute nonsense. Yeah, because they are full of shit, he said. I said, like I said, you know nothing. You get your info from stupid movies and idiots online. To which he goes, LMAO, for real? I do my research well, thumbs up. Yes, he's TikTok research, guys. I said, that's the same as me saying all Nigerian men beat their wives because I saw it on a show once. Are you that stupid? To which he goes, not once. I said, you're an idiot. 
Oh, I've encountered it multiple times, face palm, my idiot informs me. I said, idiot. Let's get to know each other, he said. I said, you you know nothing because you're a child and stupid. And no thank you, you're an idiot. If I can't marry you, I will marry any of your daughters, he says. I'm not a child, he adds. I said, I've lost brain cells just from reading your idiot logic. I said, you're about 18, a child, a stupid child. Now, we heard his voice. We know he's only about 18 or 19. No, 31, he says. I said, again, lies. You can't help yourself always lying. Why would I lie to my helper? Still convinced that I was going to be his money mule. I said, you're not my age. Don't you get it? I'm in love with you, he declares. And... In response to why would I lie to my helper, I said, I'm nothing to you because you make me sick. And in response to don't get it, I'm in love with you, I said, sucks to be you then. Why do you feel that way, he said. For real, I really love what I'm seeing. I said, because you're a liar and a thief and you're proud of it, plus you're an idiot. You're PFP. I don't know what that means, guys. I'm really old. So please tell me in the comments. And I'm not proud of it, he said after I called him a liar and a thief. And in response, I'm not proud of it. I said, yes, you are. You're fucking psycho. If there's a good option, I will change for sure. I said, no, you wouldn't. Bet I would. Do you think it easy here? I said, you can't even get basic information about America right, let alone change. We barely eat, he said. I said, so stupid. I live in a small hut, he says. Now we've seen his ceiling with the down lights. I said, you eat just fine. And in response to I live in a small hut, I said, really, with down lights, idiot. And no stable electricity, he says. I said, I don't care. And he probably doesn't. He probably only gets electricity for about 10 hours a day. And you are there with electricity 24 hours of the day, he said. I said, if you're a grown man like you claim, get a job. And yes, I do, meaning I have electricity 24 hours. Y'all don't care about us, the black people, he says, finally resorting to what we know they do, which is the racist card. I said, and if I didn't, I'd rather beg on the street than rob old ladies. We'd cross posted. And y'all make us go through this. And I said, unlike you. And I said, and how exactly is it my fault? setting him up for the usual, you made us into slaves. You enslaved our forefathers, said my scammer who didn't know that Australia was only 200 years old. I said, what? In Australia? You all colonised us, he said, putting in an angry face, to which I sent three laughing emojis. Y'all turned us into slave, he declares. I said, you fucking idiot. I said, idiot, go back to school. And in response to what in Australia, he goes, all the oibogos suffer for the pain you all caused us. I said, Australia was colonised, you moron. I'm not American, you fucking moron. America should be ready for the war, he says. So there you go, my American viewers, prepare for the war. Nigerian scammers are coming for you. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just so stupid. I said, Australia's only 200 years old, you absolute idiot. I know, he hastily puts in. I said, you fuckwit. When we get ready, both British and USA go confirm AM, whatever that means. I said, you are by far the most idiotic, pathetic, ignorant, mentally unstable little boy. How do you type this fast, he said, said the scammer who'd never heard of swipe. And in response to when we get ready, both British and USA go confirm AM. I said, you're so stupid that I can't. I just can't. I'm getting dumber just chatting with you. And in response to you are by far the most idiotic, pathetic, ignorant, mentally unstable child. He goes, no, don't say this, please. This one favoured the face palm emoji, guys. And in response to how do you type this fast? I said, because you're stupid. And in response to no... Don't say this, please. I said, you're so stupid. I corrected myself. Ma, he declares with a broken heart. I said, go back to school. Fuck off. I'm done with school. There is no job here. I said, clearly not. 
in referring to him being done with school. I am so, so pissed, he declares again. I said, you need to go back, ASAP, meaning to school, with America and British. He's pissed with British, guys. And in response, I'm so, so pissed. I said, join a club or something. Just stop. And France. I don't know why he's so pissed with France. Maybe the Ivory Coast. I don't know enough about African history. I need to look it up, honestly. And in response to with America and British, I said, so why am I being blamed for them? And in response to and France, I said, I don't care. Australia was colonised. You're just stupid. Your arguments lack intelligence and logic. To which he goes, because my fellow Nigerians think you all are part of them. Which just makes me despair for anyone in Nigeria. Nigerians, decent Nigerians watching, please tell me in the comments. Do you guys really think that Australia is part of America, British and France? Please tell me it isn't so. To which I went, then you're stupid. And they are coming for you guys. I don't know if he was referring to America, British and the French coming for us Australians or Nigerians coming for us all. I said, you said that and boo-hoo, I'm scared. You all really think I'm dumb, he says, stating the obvious. I said, you're just getting dumber by the minute, aren't you? Shaking my head, he said. And in response to your really think I'm dumb, I said, I know you're dumb. Please pick the call, though he didn't call me. I said, it's clear with every stupid thing you write. I want to discuss with you. And I just wasn't going to get into another debate, guys. I said, nope. I said, nope, I don't chat with idiots. And in response, it's clear with every stupid thing you write, he goes, it's because you don't allow me to talk. I said, you're so stupid, it's insulting to me. You're a fast typer, he admits belligerently. I said, no, that's your problem, not mine. And in response to you're so stupid, it's insulting to me, he goes, okay. I said, I'm going now. Why? You want to leave me now? I said, I can't anymore. You're making me dumber by having to read your idiotic statements. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I won't act dumb again. I said, I can feel my brain rebelling against such stupidity. Go away. And as you guys can see, I had misspelt brain because I was literally getting dumber with every exchange with this absolute muppet. Please think about my business proposal, he said. It will be beneficial for both parties. Imagine earning 4500 weekly. To which I said, the fact that you're even asking me to be your money mule shows me that you haven't changed. Once a thief, always a thief. F off. To which he said, I'm just saying it's a business. Anybody that feel dumb fall for it and we take it. Everybody is a scammer. You can't say your business is legit 100%. Are you using an iPhone or Android? <laughs> Asks my scammer, apropos of nothing. I've stopped engaging with this guy. He can see that I'm um, absolutely here with him, um, but I'm not going to engage anymore. I hate the fact that he's saying anybody that feel dumb fall for it and we take it. And as you heard in that previous phone call, um, this guy is just atrocious. I literally need a bath after this. So there you go. Part two. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Love you guys. Love my Americans. Love my British. Love my French. Love you all equally. Uh, love my Nigerian viewers too. Mwah. Talk to you guys later. Bye.